Okay, this is Lex at Max Future, and I'm going to show you how to take a Hype uh, version 2, 2.0 project and put it into an iOS app on Xcode. Now, I did this uh, a couple of years ago, and it was Hype, the first version of Hype, using PhoneGap. And I'm not able to do it with PhoneGap now because I'm, not, I'm using a, the beta of the X, next version of Xcode, and so PhoneGap doesn't work with it yet. But I found a way to just sort of simply put a HTML5 hype project right into Xcode. So I made this very simple um, uh, little app that's like sort of my web pages and uh, I'll give you a little preview here in, uh, in uh, the browser what it's going to look like. So this is what it looks like in my Chrome browser and in, in my project I picked the template so that it would match an iPhone 5 but basically it's a pretty simple app that I'm making where it's going to take you to different pages. It's going to take you to my website. I've got a menu thing at the bottom. I used a RSS feeder to, to create uh, this part over here. And then I have another button I press and it takes me to my last two YouTube videos and my Twitter feed and Google+. Okay, so how am I going to... I'm going to take this hype... Um, project and I want to put it in Xcode. So how am I going to do that? So uh, in Hype, go to export HTML5 folder. So I am going to export it and uh, it gives me this little screen regarding you know compatibility with other browsers and I'm gonna put it in um, well I guess I'll put it in this folder called bills and then I'll do something with it. And I'm not going to, uh, let's see, um, save the HTML file, include text contained for search engines. I don't really need that because that's going to go inside of an of a, a Xcode app. Now, last time I used PhoneGap, which is a third-party plugin that helps you do HTML5 projects in, uh, in Xcode. But I'm not able to use it now because I'm using the new beta version of Xcode. Um, and I already created like a project here, but let me just show you how I did it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start a new uh, Xcode project, and you're going to pick single view uh, right there, and pick next, and I'm going to call it Hype Test 2. And it's going to, just uh, for the iPhone, and I'm going to, uh, it automatically generates the project there. And so you see um, you have a number of, um, a number of assets here. You've got uh, your delegate files, h and dot, dot h and dot m, your storyboard, and your view controller. And... Um, the, one of the first things you want to do is put your hype a HTML assets into your Xcode project. So I'm going to just drag first the hype folder, put it there. You're going to get this pop-up window. Make sure that copy the items to the destinations group and have the folders create folder references. Have those be checked as well as add to the target. And I'm going to go finish. And I'm also going to drag uh, the main HTML file that Hype uh, created. And the same thing, check off destination, copy items to the, the group folder and folder references. So, and then let's see, I am going to modify first the view controller dot H file. And um, I already created the code here in my other version of this project and the key is I'm going to put this outlet the the um, IB outlet view so I'm going back and I'm gonna insert it right there under the interface to the UIV UI view controller just gonna paste it there that creates an outlet and then I'm gonna modify the .m file here under view did load, where you have the super view did load, I'm going to create a reference to the HTML file. It's going to launch using WebView um, that 
that um, that asset. So I'm just going to copy it from my other project, and I have it already highlighted there. And let's see, let's see what it looks like. It's going to go right here, and I'm going to paste it in there, and I'm going to show it to you. So here's the key stuff. There's a NS string, you know, method, uh, which is basically going to launch uh, a file at this URL path, and and uh, and basically this is the name of my HTML file that hype created. This is the part that you're going to modify um, to be the name of whatever hype HTML asset you have. Uh, the, I put some other code in here that I saw online. Hopefully. You know, so it wouldn't bounce too much. Um, so we have that now. Now let's go up to the storyboard, and we need a web view. So I'm going to go over here under our assets and drag a web view right there. And you want to make sure that it references the class. So I'm going to go to the controller and look up here under custom class it is referencing the class h hype view controller h that's where the outlet is and where um but we need to do one more thing which is we want to make sure it's connected and so here under um outlets you see there's this web view outlet that is the outlet that was created here um under hype view controller you see here the the web view outlet that was created here well that is what caused uh, when you go to the view controller that's what caused this outlook out, outlet to appear here but you got to connect it so you want to hold the option key and click and drag the web view and there it connect created the connection so that's pretty much it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run it on the iPhone 4 simulator and I'm going to run it and build it and let's see does it launch it and uh, simulator is taking some time. There it is and there it is. There is my hype project launched as an app and I can click the those are HTML5 buttons and the menus in HTML5 and it's essentially running look I even have like uh, YouTube working in there and um, you know you can tweak it here and there I think the reason it doesn't look as smooth here is because I I needed to tweak it better in um, in hype and um, I got like my Twitter feed there and let's see if I use the button there and uh, Google Plus. So, so this is a way to embed a hype project into a web view using uh, Xcode, you know, in, in an Xcode iOS app without using PhoneGap. Now, PhoneGap will probably give you a little uh, better performance, but if you just want to really just embed um, an iOS uh, hype app, a hype HTML5. Uh, project into an iOS app, this is one method to do it. So anyways, I, I did a movie like this two years ago when Hype came out, and this is for Hype 2.0, and I plan to make more movies uh, as I, you know, sort of noodle around with this. So please subscribe, and I also will put the code uh, at my website, uh, maxfuture.com. I'll have the code that you you can copy and use yourself. So Thanks for uh, listening. This has been